came to Face Mash in a stampede, right? Yeah. But it wasn't because they saw pictures of hot girls. You can go anywhere on the internet and see pictures of hot girls. Yeah. It was because they saw pictures of girls that they knew. People want to go on the internet and check out their friends, so why not build a website that offers that friends, pictures, profiles, whatever you can visit, browse around. Maybe it's someone you just met at a party. But I'm not talking about a dating site. I'm talking about taking the entire social experience of college and putting it online. I can't feel my legs. I know. I'm totally psyched about this too, but Wardo. Yeah. It would be exclusive. You would have to know the people on the site to get past your own page, like getting punched. Well, that's good. Wardo, it's like a final club, except we're the president. outweigh the cons when it comes to social media. Um, it brings a lot of people together. It brings friends together, old friends from high school. I know my parents have connected with other people through Facebook. But on the Rancho campus and on, at Chafee, it's very helpful. Um, with teachers, they're able to go through Moodle, go through Twitter, um, tell their students what's going on. It helps other students interact with each other, form study groups. I found it beneficial to myself and so have a lot of students. There are some um, cons as well. It can be distracting for students in class. Teachers have told me that I've interviewed that um, they have to take away cell phones or they can't have them out on the desk. A lot of computers aren't allowed to be used now because uh, to take notes because of Facebook and stuff. People will be on their social media instead of focusing on class. Even though I do agree that Social media has really helped people to connect around the world globally and you know it's a great weapon. Weapon. Sorry, I meant to say tool. My fault. But there you go. It's, you know, pretty much a weapon, but a tool to help people stay connected. But at the same time, I mean, people rely so much on social media and technology to stay in touch with their friends. When honestly, you can call them up, but they're like live down the street. You do not need to Facebook them or text them. And I feel like, as humans, like we need that human touch. We need that communication with humans together. And I feel that that's what social media and that's what technology these days are doing. Is they're separating us. I mean. If you look, a new movie that just came out is like a love story between a man and a like, technology. Like, is that what the future's gonna come out to? I mean, I'm guilty, I use it sometimes, but it's just, I feel it taking over my life sometimes. And I look around and I walk and I see just people glued to their phones walking and not noticing what's going on around, around them. And I just feel that people rely on that, I mean, dating and finding friends and finding events. I mean, that's something you should do in person. You can go to the bar and meet some people. You can go to the park and talk to people. You shouldn't rely on your phone. You shouldn't rely on your Facebook to meet new people. And that's why I believe in the cons of social media. But that's just me. Go for it. Thank Thanks you so, so much, much for watching. watching. Oh, I gotta do that again. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for watching. You can follow me at Sadie Grib on Twitter. You can also follow the Chafee Breeze newspaper at Chafee Breeze. If you like to follow me, it's at Cool Kid Connor, A C O O L K I D C O N N O R. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.